Hello, hello, hello. Today we're going to compare Hootsuite versus Loomly. Both of them are social media marketing management tools. Ba what does that mean? Basically, when you start posting on different sites with your business, it can be very cumbersome, very time consuming, even expensive if you're hiring a virtual assistant to do it, to post on all the places that you want to post. Um, once you start being more um, intentional about what you want to post and where you want to post it and what time and not just post for the sake of posting, you might want to come up, use a social media management tool because basically you can go into the tool, post the same post on four or five different social media platforms. So that's what it does. You can post ahead. Um, I have a whole playlist about different social media tools and I'm going to put that at the end. You can invent, you know, go out, research all the different ones, see which one works best for you. They all have pros and cons, just like anything else. But basically it saves you time. You can go in and make a post and say, here, I want to put it on Facebook. I want to put it on Instagram. I want to put it on LinkedIn and make sure the one that you choose has all those features. And then you can post them out for a month. Maybe you like to post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday at a certain time, or maybe a couple times a day. You can go in and make those posts all in one day. Now, this is something that I keep telling people, don't feel like for the rest of your life, you have to go in there once a month and put all these posts and keep scheduling. Once you have a good collection of, let's say 90 to 120 posts, three to four months worth, you can go back and recycle them. And that is what's cool about using a social media management tool. You do the footwork in the beginning, get it all planned out, and then just keep recycling. Now you might say, well, what if I want fresh content? You can do that. Maybe you can say every Wednesday at two is where you add something fresh. I do that with my email sequence. I have everything in a sequence, but then there are certain times I plug in current information that's happening now in my life. And it's not always in a sequence, if that makes sense. So social media platform, management tools work the same way. You can put that fresh stuff in there. So today we're gonna look at Hootsuite and Loomly. And I've got about five different things I'm comparing and you can see which one you like better. So let's go ahead and get started. The most important thing, if not the second most important thing, the money is what everybody looks at, which is, yeah, you got to look at money, but you also want to look at the features. Make sure sometimes you got to pay a little bit more for what you have, right? Or what you're looking for. So I know money is important, but I'm going to give that to you later. In my opinion, first thing you want to look at, does the one that I'm choosing allow me to post on the sites that I'm using. And Hootsuite, these are five out of the several that you can post on Facebook, Instagram, MailChimp, Twitter, and WordPress. Loomly does not post on WordPress, but you can post on Pinterest. And I wanna put a disclaimer here. They advertise that they post on Instagram, but they post in a way right now where they will give you a notification. So you'll say, yes, I wanna post on Instagram, you'll get it all ready, but you have to physically hit a button to post it. Instagram does not like automation at all. They do everything they can do to stop automation. So right now, they haven't found a way to get around that, but you'll be, you know, you'll just get a little notification on your phone. You hit the button and it's ready to go. So in, in that sense, you can still post. And they also post on LinkedIn, which Hootsuite did not. So you got to really look at where do I want to post? Does it work for me? All right, let's look at some of the features. Um, Hootsuite, which I liked, I thought was important, especially if you're starting to dig in and look at things, they do have A-B testing. So what does that mean? That means you can take the same post, maybe you have the same quote, or maybe you have the same content, some information, but maybe you use two different pictures. And then you're gonna go, well, which one is getting clicked more often? And that's what A-B testing is. You just change one little thing. You might change the color. You might change the font, um, just something. Uh, usually the picture, in my opinion, is probably the big thing that people um, change their opinion on what they're gonna look at. But again, you have that A-B testing in there. And then you can see here, who, who uh, Loomly has 76 total features and Hootsuite has 70. Now, if you want to go dig in, I'm giving you a, um, a scan of what their differences are, because really, if you're looking to purchase one of them as a membership and use them, you really want to dig in. You really want to go in, get the free membership and use them and see which one you like better. So I'm just kind of giving you a, you know, an overview of how they're different. 
this may not be important to you, but I thought I wanted to put it here. I'm going to give you a couple of views. So before you leave, I'm going to give you a calendar view of each. So you can kind of, kind of see what they look like. Sometimes, sometimes the, uh, the ease of how to use them or the aesthetics of what it looks like is important to people. It is to me. I want to use something that's easy, looks nice, you know, user friendly, um, social media tools for dummies, right? This is security. If that's important to you, if you really dig in, you can see right here, you can pause the video and read that yourself. Um, the next one is the calendar view. I personally liked Loomly's calendar view better. If you look over here at Hootsuite, um, it, it has each day listed and what's there. But personally, I like this view because you can see right here on the 23rd, all these places are getting a post. And I kind of like, I'm like that even with my own calendar. I want to see the whole month and I want to see what's going on and I want, I want to see it all. I'm very global. So I prefer that. Now, if you like, you know, just one page at a time or one date at a time, then you might like Hootsuite better. So again, it's just a preference. I also wanted to look at the dashboard. Ah, we wanted to go back. Let me go back one. That was the calendar view. And now let's look at the dashboard. Sorry about that. Um, dashboard. When I um, popped up dashboard for each of them, again, I really liked Loomly because here I can go into the different areas that I want to spend more time on. I can find my calendar from here. I can find the analytics and things like that. The dashboard for Hootsuite is, looks like this on the left. I personally like the layout better of Loomly. Again, it's just a preference. All right, so now let's look at user reviews. Um, a lot of people, 96 of the people who did the review said that they would recommend Hootsuite, 99% said Loomly. So in my opinion, they're pretty even. The only negative thing that I heard, I and I've heard several times from people that have watched my videos, they Facebook message me and they tell me they've used Hootsuite, but then after your um, contract is up, they keep raising the prices um, and, and giving you features. So they didn't like how it keeps getting so expensive. One lady was telling me she had to pay $230 a month just to get the feature she wanted. She didn't go into a lot of detail, but again, it depends on what you're looking for. So dig into that. See if there's a price increase or anything like that. Loomly was my favorite because of how easy it is to navigate and use. And I really like that. I don't want to have to overthink things. I like it to be easy. So my personal preference. But again, dig in and look. If you're running an agency, all of that might change. All right. This right. I'm looking at more per, for personal use. And after that, um, the analytics, these are the designs of the analytics. The one on the left is an analytical page of a Twitter account and the one, and that's with Hootsuite. The one on the right is Loomly and that's the Facebook analytics. So again, which one do you like? I personally like the numbers. I think it's laid out very nice and neat on Loomly. I can look at those numbers and then these graphs are very simple, very, you know, everything is just spaced nicely, easy to read over here. You're getting a lot of these jiggy jaggy lines and things like that. Again, it just, it depends on your preference, but that's kind of what the analytics look like on each different platform. And now last but not least, drum roll, please. What does it cost? That's what everybody wants to know. And again, don't always look at just the money. Okay. Um, it, if you're looking for certain features and you have to pay a little bit more for it, then by golly, pay it, get what you need. They're both very close in price. Hootsuite starts out at $29 a month. Loomly starts out at $25. They both have a free trial, which is a, I love. I love to look at the free trials. But Hootsuite, you don't have to use your credit card to get the free tri trial. Um, or you do have to use it. When you go in for your free trial, you have to give them your credit card. With Loomly, you do not. So I know a lot of people, they don't like to give their credit card. If that's you, then you might want to try Loomly. But I have found um, if you write down the date of when your trial's over, I just got done canceling something else, but give them your credit card. Make sure you write it down on your calendar or notification on your phone when it's due and about two or three days before that, cancel it if that's not something you're going to use. So you just got to stay on top of it. Um, just like those 0%, you know, uh, payments you get into, you got to, you got to stay on top of it and pay attention. All right. That is it. Hopefully you can choose one or the other. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I've got some cool things I'm going to be doing um, this next year. I'm really excited about. You'll just kind of see as you go. I am posting every Monday, 
Wednesday and Friday. So three times a week, hit the notification bell so that you will be notified every time one of my videos comes up. And again, like I said, I got some cool stuff coming up that's gonna help you build your business. This is about affiliate marketing. And one of the things that has frustrated me with the, the industry of affiliate marketing is people think, or they tell people, you can go out and put your, um, link somewhere and everybody's going to come and, and hit it and then you make lots of money and it doesn't really work that way i'm going to teach you how to build a business all right so and i'm going to show you some different tools that will help you with your business and that's what this is all about so hit the button subscribe to my channel and i will see you on the next video thank you for watching too by the way